Hello, I'm Vico47 and you're watching my first newbie home recording tutorial, first installment. In this part we'll cover, we'll cover the basics of multi-track recording. But before that you might ask why to create just another music recording tutorial. The thing is that when I watched the videos on uh, YouTube there were people either showing off with their own uh, much more expensive studios and, uh, and other videos probably from Expert Village simply didn't give me the right information and uh, so, I so I've decided to create something that might help uh, people who are still undecided go for it or not, to record or not and uh, I'd like to help you to decide Yes, you should definitely start because it's very easy now, it's cheap now, and you can do it. I've already indicated who is the target audience. Uh, people who want to play some instruments, play some, I don't know, MIDI stuff and uh, mix it all together in the computer. If you want to do some electronic music, if you have your Fruity Loops up and running, if you have your own studio and uh, you know all the stuff and again you have all your software chosen already and uh, you know you're not the right person to watch this video because it's really basic I'd like to share my quite recent, uh, quite recent experiences with people who are at the same position like I was a few months ago as I have already mentioned uh, today will be uh, talking about multi-track recording. So what is multi-track recording? If you're alone in your own studio and uh, you have some instruments, you want to record them and then you want to add some vocals or you have to overdub the instrument. You have to put one guitar to the right, one guitar to the left and uh, in that case you can't do it all at once of course. So you need software where you can record one track and then you can record another track while you are listening to the stuff that is already recorded before and uh, that is multi-track recording well, maybe not the exact definition but the idea is that Today's plan is to talk about how to connect microphones to the computer we'll be not talking about microphones in particular uh, how to set up windows so that your computer hears your microphone and finally we'll be talking about Audacity which is software that allows you to do some multi-track recording and it's free well pardon my very noisy computer this is the sound card there's jack output from it and this red little connector is is for microphone that fine microphone there is connected into my sound card by default because I use it to use it for applications like Skype and the microphone ends with 3.5mm connector jack and uh, you can easily plug it into the sound card the trouble is that serious microphones are not like this when you have microphone it mostly ends with so-called XLR connector. You need a cable to put it together. So let's do it. There's some lock. On the other end there is a 6.3 mm jack connector and you obviously can't plug this one into the sound card I've shown you before. Unless you have some breakout box with big jacks, of course. Now you have to use any of these, but this one is mono. In this case it doesn't really matter because it's uh, input, but mixing mono and stereo is not generally recommended unless you know what you're doing. So I'll throw this away. Now when you plug these both together, you can plug your microphone into the sound card. Now we have our microphone plugged into the computer and we want to be sure that microphone is our selected input. Uh, if you don't have recording here, 
you might have a different mixer device here. It depends on a particular sound card. So like microphone, you might also want to boost the input gain a bit. Now, uh, it's not really necessary, but if you want to hear yourself in, sp uh, in headphones, you might want to pull this volume up. However, it doesn't affect the recording. And uh, other thing is that if you have this up and you're using speakers, you might get a feedback loop which is not desirable, I guess. So that's about microphone setup and now we can check out the software. Last thing for this time is Audacity software. We will go very, very briefly through it. It's a free software. You can use it on Mac, Windows or even on Linux. So especially if you're a Linux user, this might be your choice because it's one of those better softwares available there. Now, you can download it from audacity.sourceforge.net. Let's check it out. Audacity is here. It has all important features you need to record something. You can start the recording. As you can see, my voice is obviously there. You can stop it and you can start again. And you can hear the previously recorded track. Now you can hear it as well because I'm using I'm using uh, speakers. Record one more track. There is one big mess. It all mixed together. Now you can hear it as well in the output, but not in the uh, on, in, in these tracks. This track contains only my recording, and of course now also recording of this voice because it goes through through speakers but you know if you use uh, headphones the situation is different if you have any problem with recording you might check this section here important thing is to select the proper input from uh, uh, on the device uh, set the volume up you can check out the monitoring level in input monitoring it all works now Another thing is that you probably don't want to record stereo because why it's pointless why to record stereo when the input is only one microphone. So go here to preferences. In case tweaking with this section did not help, you might have a different sound card selected in case you have multiple, you know, internal one and some I have pretty old sub some buster it doesn't really matter because I have another one for serious recording which is not connected now and uh, this is the key to record only one channel at once we can check it out one more track. yes it works one big now we have what we wanted so when you track uh, when you when you record multiple tracks like these now it's for example you record one guitar and a second one you might position them in a, in a stereo image you may prefer one of them so uh, put the gain up there uh, beware of some digital clipping though but we will talk about this later so it's not distorted uh, get back to preferences for a little while we will not cover it all because it's simply impossible in the time remaining uh, here is quality settings for your, for your uh, project and file format output OG is easy to use because it's right there MP3 you have to download lame library first uh, because of patent problems then you have some other stuff uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts or ma mouse shortcuts learn them if you want to use the software so you will be uh, more effective funny thing is that when you when you're positioned on some tab and fire the preferences again uh, you will not see the tabs before, but you know here are little arrows in case you did not notice right away. In the next episode, we'll be using Audacity one more time. We will talk about latencies, how to deal with them, and then we move on to other software um, I use. It's called Reaper. So see you for now. Bye bye.